The future of U.S. soccer has revealed themselves. Colby is losing his mind after Norwich's victory, and Solskjaer's out. It's all right here on Tea Time with David. Welcome to the Thanksgiving Day special of Tea Time. We're thankful for all the tea that we've had so far in this series. And you know, we're gonna start with the future of US soccer revealing themselves. I'm talking about Trinity Rodman. She is the daughter of basketball star Dennis Rodman, but she is in her own right, her own star. She went off this weekend on Saturday in the NWSL Championship. I'm telling you what, I was watching this game there were multiple times where I audibly gasped and was like, what the hell? This girl is so talented. She made a whole highlight tape for herself in this game alone. Some of the things she was doing was just ridiculous. There was one time there were three Chicago Red Stars player guiding her, still nutmegged one and got past all three. She had a rocket off the bar and she got the game winning assist to Kelly O'Hara. She is the future of US soccer. I'm calling it right now. She's going to be a star. Now let's go over to Europe and we're going to go with Christian Pulisic scoring his first Chelsea goal since August. Chelsea was playing Leicester in the Premier League and two early goals from Nangolo Kante and Antonio Rudiger had the Blues up 2-0 and then Pulisic was brought on in the 62nd minute. I'm just saying it now. If you're like a tired defender and you look to the side, it's Pulisic. It's just son of a bitch. There he is, the man from Hershey. Unfortunately, no shirt reveal this time from Pulisic. Granted, it would have been kind of funny if he still had it on. It's like, yeah, I'm still that man in the mirror, Ochoa. I'm not even playing you, but I'm still that guy. Now we're gonna stick with the Premier League and we're gonna check in with Colby. Did Norwich win this week? Colby, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just mining the gap. Wait, what, this is, wait, why does this say happy anniversary? Sorry, this is, this is just not even on script anymore. What the, what is this? Why do we have this? Happy anniversary. Sticking with the Premier League, some big news with Manchester United. Their manager is gone. The manager whose name I botched in episode one, he's gonna save Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's job. Slurred that a little bit. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, as I looked up on YouTube video, that's probably still wrong. He is gone and his last interview saying goodbye to everyone was so touching, I almost forgot that he got his shit kicked in 4-1 by Watford. I gotta say though, that Walmart managerial 11 is getting stacked. Solskjaer, we got Ronald Koeman, we got Nuno. We're gonna go to some Champions League news and I gotta be completely transparent here. We filmed this on a Tuesday morning due to Thanksgiving, so we do not know what's happened yet. Thankfully, I'm a psychic and I can predict this. Watch this. We were gonna have David do a voiceover, but he couldn't be here. Thankfully, I have a killer David impression. Hey, it's me, David. Ronaldo scored again and Lewandowski scored a bicycle kick. Yeah. Now let's go to our one piece of social media and I am fired up and pissed. We're going to college ball, the NCAA tournament with some fucking bastard from Duke, man. Okay, 10 man UCLA was fighting for their lives against Duke, but the Blue Devils scored a late game winner. And look at this asshat who is just taunting the goalkeeper. His name is Olfarsson, he's from Iceland. I'm gonna say it now, you're a whole ass bitch. Oh, Farson, you suck, dude. I'm rooting against you and Duke for the whole tournament because of this. Come at me. I don't care. This Thanksgiving, I'm thankful that somebody rocked your shit because you're clearly a dude who's not gotten his ass kicked. That is all for the tea this week. Have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for everyone who's tuned in and watched, and I hope you have a great time if you celebrate or if you don't celebrate. Uh, uh, fuck you. I don't think we should put that part in. I don't think my parents would like that. <laughs>